Welcome to XUCPA channel, this is Charlene. Today we want to share with you why we think PPP is not PPP anymore. So I want to share some information with you. Through May 23rd, SBA approved more than 4.4 million PPP loans totaling more than 511 billion. About 138 billion in PPP funds remain available. So what that means is that for those of you who have not applied, you definitely can still apply. So that's good news. Now, I want to share with you why we think PPP is not PPP anymore. Because if you remember back in the days, you know, when you hear about EIDL, everybody rush to apply, it's free money. And then PPP comes along, everybody rush to apply because it's again free money. A lot of people believe that as long as you use PPP funds on payroll, 100% forgiveness. Is that the case? Is that true? We're gonna share with you in this video. Now, if you remember, when you apply for PPP, your calculation is average monthly payroll times 2.5. Now, 2.5 months, that is about maybe 10 weeks. But remember, the rule of PPP forgiveness is that you have to spend all the money once the funds are dispersed within how long? Within 8 weeks. So just think about it, when you apply for the loan, you're actually applying for 10 weeks. But when you disperse the funds, you have to spend the funds in 8 weeks. So logically, do you think you will get 100% forgiveness? That is up to you to decide. So the second confusion for many business owners is that as long as you spend 75% of the PPP funds on payroll, you should be fine for 100% forgiveness. Is that really the case? Let me show you. On May 15, there's a new form and you have to study the new form, page 3, line number 10. It is called the payroll cost 75% requirement. And how does that work? Let me show you. So let's say for the 8 weeks, you pay 50000 the way to do the calculation is that you take the 50k divided by 0 0.75 equals 66667 and 25% is equal to 16667. So you have to use this formula to determine whether you will get 100% loan forgiveness for the PV funds that you receive. Okay, perhaps the third point I'm going to talk to you about is the most confusing point. We know that PPP funds is not only awarded for employers with employees. Now, if you're self-employed, if you're S corporation shareholder, your owner employee, you are also eligible to apply for PPP. And here's the problem. Before, everybody thought that it's 100K divided by 12 months times 2.5. Apparently, SBA has already decided and have already published the guideline the guideline is it is the lesser of 15385 15385 dollars or 2019 com so your 2019 compensation divided by 52 times 8 weeks okay so a lot of business owners went like oh what about if i have excess expenses what if i don't make money in 2019 does that mean that 100 percent of my loan that i receive in 2020 is not going to be forgiven hopefully sba will provide more guidance but as of now yes maybe confusion about eidl advance a lot of business owners are concerned if i receive eidl money does that mean that my ppp will not be forgiven or vice versa Okay, perhaps you're right. So the latest guidance actually show that your PPP loan forgiveness will be reduced by the amount of EIDL advance money that you will receive. If you like more information about PPP or EIDL, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. If you need any updates or you want to follow any updates on accounting or tax information, uh, please always check out our channel. We will share more with you in our next video. Goodbye!